is the world's oldest continuously played board game. It is one of the simplest and also most abstract. Beating a professional player at Go is a long-standing challenge of artificial intelligence. Everything we've ever tried in AI just falls over when you try the game of Go. The number of possible configurations of the board is more than the number of atoms in the universe. AlphaGo found a way to learn how to play Go. So far, AlphaGo has beaten every challenge we've given it. But we won't know its true strength until we play somebody who is at the top of the world, like Lisa Dong. A match like no other is about to get underway in South Korea. They said all this to go what Roger Federer is to tennis. Just the very thought of a machine playing a human is inherently intriguing. The place is a madhouse. Welcome to the Deep Mind Challenge. The whole world is watching. Can Lee Sedol find AlphaGo's weakness? Ooh. Whoa. Oh, is there, in fact, a weakness? The game kind of turned on its axis. Look at his face. That is not a confident face. It's developing into a very, very dangerous fight. Ooh, here. hold the phone. Lee has left the room. In the end, it is about pride. I, I think, think there's something went wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's made a mistake. He's got to pronounce a miracle. These ideas that are driving AlphaGo are going to drive our future. This is it, folks. Deep learning, a form of artificial intelligence inspired by the human brain, is sweeping across every industry around the world. Thanks to this breakthrough, computer vision, voice recognition, speech synthesis, machine translation, game playing, drug discovery, and robotics are setting game-changing performance records. Arc believes that deep learning is one of the most important software breakthroughs of our time. Now that software is enabling most industries, deep learning will have a profound impact on automotive, robotics, drones, biotech, finance, agriculture, and many other industries. According to Arc's research, deep learning will add $30 trillion to the global equity market cap during the next 15 to 20 years. As if this number wasn't shocking enough, just four years ago, Arc was predicting 17 trillion in new global market cap. So in just four years, the potential of this industry has nearly doubled given the industry's deep learning is continually growing to impact. And by the way, in case you haven't seen the full AlphaGo movie yet, I've linked it below and peg it as a must watch. Company Companies like Google, Facebook, Baidu, Microsoft, NVIDIA, Intel, IBM, OpenAI, and many other startups have made deep learning a central focus. And from an investor perspective, deep learning is only nine years old and very compelling given its low revenue base, large addressable market, and high growth rate. Deep learning is software that writes itself using large amounts of data. So all of a sudden, you don't need programmers to do this anymore. You just feed it lots of data. And the end result is so much more powerful than anything that a small team of humans can write. Each wave of software disruption um, adds a huge amount of value to our economy. When you look at kind of the PC-driven uh, software evolution of that decade, that added about $4 trillion to the economy. The internet, which created the FANG companies, added about $10 trillion. By our estimates, deep learning is going to add $30 trillion to the economy. And this is really kind of a testament to each wave being larger than the next because software is eating more and more industries. PC era only ate a few industries like desktop publishing. With the internet, it was maybe media. With deep learning, it's going to be every industry, everything from heavy construction to energy to retail to healthcare. All the big ticket items are going to be captured by deep learning. If you thought the internet was disruptive, you haven't seen anything yet. There's a good chance you chose to watch this video from your YouTube homepage or recommended videos. You have deep learning to thank for that. During the next decade, Arc believes the most important software will be created by deep learning. And this revolution is also pushing forward ancillary industries to enable the computational power required. This has caused an investment boom in new microprocessors specialized for this field. As AI training costs grow from one to 100 million dollars per project, these specialized processors like GPUs, TPUs, ASICs, and more will continue to scale dramatically. Arc estimates that data center spending on AI processors will scale more than fourfold during the next five years from $5 billion a year today to $22 billion in 2025. 2020 was the breakthrough year for conversational AI. For the first time, AI systems could understand and generate language with human-like accuracy. Conversational AI 
AI requires 10 times the computing resources of computer vision and should spur large investments in the coming years. OpenAI's GPT-3 was one of the first AIs that understands language and can simplify complex English into regular conversation, along with writing emails and designing web pages. Over two decades, the internet added $13 trillion to equity market capitalizations globally. Deep learning has created $2 trillion in market caps as of 2020. Given ARC's projections of $30 trillion in market cap generation, deep learning could create more economic value than the internet did. You can also check out ARC Invest's ARC W, their next generation internet ETF. And the beauty of this, at least for me, is that this is far bigger than just a life-changing investment opportunity. Deep learning in healthcare and medical research could literally save and change lives. AlphaFold has been on the cutting edge of protein folding and is something we should all be watching closely. We've discovered more about the world than any other civilization before us. But we have been stuck on this one problem. How do proteins fold up? How do proteins go from a string of amino acids to a compact shape that acts as a machine and drives life? When you find out about proteins, it is very exciting. You could think of them as little biological nanomachines. They are essentially the fundamental building blocks that power everything living on this planet. If we can reliably predict protein structures using AI, that could change the way we understand the natural world. Proteins are large, complex molecules essential to all of life. Nearly every function that our body performs, contracting muscles, sensing light, or turning food into energy relies on proteins and how they move and change. What any given protein can do depends on its unique 3D structure. For example, antibody proteins utilized by our immune system are Y-shaped and form unique hooks. By latching onto viruses and bacteria, these antibody proteins are able to detect and tag disease causing microorganisms for elimination. Collagen proteins are shaped like cords which transmit tension between cartilage, ligaments, bones, and skin. The recipes for these proteins, which are called genes, are encoded in our DNA. An error in the genetic recipe may result in a malformed protein which could result in disease or death for an organism. Many diseases therefore are fundamentally linked to proteins. But just because you know the genetic recipe for a protein, doesn't mean you automatically know its shape. Proteins are comprised of chains of amino acids, but DNA only contains information about the sequence of amino acids, not how they fold into shape. The bigger the protein, the more difficult it is to model because there are more interactions between the amino acids to take into account. But potential benefits are not restricted to health alone. Understanding protein folding will assist in protein design, which could unlock a tremendous number of benefits. For example, advanced in biodegradable enzymes, which can be enabled by protein design, could help manage pollutants like plastic and oil, helping us break down waste in ways that are more friendly to the environment. In fact, researchers have already begun engineering bacteria to secrete proteins that will make waste biodegradable and easier to process. The success of AlphaFold's first foray into protein folding is very indicative of how machine learning systems can integrate diverse sources of information to help scientists come up with creative solutions to complex problems at speed. Just as we've seen how AI can impact complex games through systems like AlphaGo, AI breakthroughs will serve as a platform to advance our understanding of fundamental scientific problems as well. And I'll leave you with something awesome that will blow your mind. Please like the video if you did, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss this decade of life-changing opportunities. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. We're trying to build robots that learn a little bit like humans do by trial and error. What we've done is train an algorithm to solve the Rubik's Cube one-handed with a robotic hand which is actually pretty hard even for a human to do. We don't tell it how the hand needs to move the, the cube in order to get there. The particular friction that's on the fingers, how easy it is to turn the faces on the cube, what the gravity, what the weight of the cube is, all of these things, it needs to learn by itself. The interesting thing is that kind of standard techniques in robotics haven't been able to scale to that complexity that we see in a robotic hand. Humans have evolved to be able to 
manipulate and operate our hands. So there's a huge amount of learning that's happened through evolution to get us to this point as a, as a species. And the robot has to learn all of this from scratch. Instead of trying to write very dedicated algorithms to operate such a hand, we took a different approach where we create thousands of different simulated environments and learn to do the task in all of those. And hopefully a robotic hand will be able to do it in the real world as well. This means like thousands of years of experience that this neural network has had in simulation. Every time the algorithm has gotten good at the task, we make the task harder. That's really crucial because it needs exposure to really complicated environments in order to eventually be robust to the real world. You put a rubber glove on the hand and can still carry out the task. This ability to generalize to new environments feels like a very core piece of intelligence. It really changes the way we think about training general purpose robots. Moving from thinking too much about the actual algorithms and start thinking about how do we create complex enough worlds where they can learn. At some point, then it would be more down to the imagination what robots could actually accomplish. The hope is to build robots that can do many different tasks to increase the standard of living and give everybody a better life.